Hi, my name is Amanda Oakleaf. I am owner, head baker, decorator of Amanda Oakleaf Cakes in Winthrop, Massachusetts, where we do custom cakes of all kinds, wedding cakes, birthday cakes, sculpted cakes, anything you can think of, we can make it into a cake. And today, I will be talking to you about cake decorating. In the head, you just want to pinch off another size ball. And before you start shaping it, just make sure it's the right size. You'd rather have it too big than too small. And then just fold it around so that all the wrinkles of the fondant are underneath, rather than right in the center of the face. So I'm just going to pick the best side for my face. So for the face, um, we're going to do it like he's sleeping, so we'll create just some eyelids, um, rather than drawing the whole eye. So we have a tip, imprint it only half of the circle and it'll be like he's sleeping. And then we just want to give him a little tiny, the tiniest piece into a little ball for his nose. And just a little bit of glue where it's gonna go. And then for the mouth, um, we'll use a smaller size tip, kind of like he might be snoring, his mouth is open. And we'll do that right underneath where the nose is gonna go. And then we'll cover him with a blanket of fondant. Just make sure it's the same thickness all the way around. And you want to use your pizza cutter uh, to wheel out the right size. So start bigger than you think. Yep, so I think that's about the right size. And we'll give it um, a little bit of texture with this tool. Um, it's a wheel, it has a zigzag edge, and it gives the impression of stitching, as if it were a quilt. So we'll go diagonal. Uh, after you get the quilting on, if you want to take a round uh, piping tip, uh, you can just imprint where the lines meet, and it will create the look of pearls on your quilt. So now we have all the pieces. They're not glued together yet. We can glue them once they're on the cake. So we'll start with the body, arms and legs. So just dry fit it where you want to see it first and then we'll glue it after we like it, how it looks. So we'll start with the large piece and you want to glue it both to the body and to the cake. So on both sides. And the head, I'm going to glue where it's going to sit rather than the head itself. That way I can spin it around if I need to. So rather than gluing the blanket, I'm just gonna glue right in the middle of the body, not too far out, because you don't want glue to show where there won't be a blanket. You could use a little piece of fondant, twist it up, um, or I have an edible marker with edible food color in the marker, and you can give them a little curl. The hair on the top. And that is a baby figurine.